Hey, what's shaking, folks? Mick Olenek, CEO of Rockstar Coding. Listen, quick question for you. If you've got a business, you're an entrepreneur, small business owner, um, my guess is that you have a website, uh, you probably have uh, some social media presence, maybe Facebook, maybe Instagram, something like that. Um, but if you're like most business owners and entrepreneurs that I work with uh, or talk to at conferences or on the phone or, or whatever while I'm doing consulting, chances are you really aren't sure how effective it is for you. You really don't know how it works and you're actually fairly certain that it's not working the way that it should. Um, and I, I, if that's you, if that sounds like you, I don't want you to feel bad at all because quite frankly, this stuff is, is far from intuitive. Um, so what I'd like to do today is just show you how to do it. Um, show you the main you know pieces that, that you need to know to be able to make this whole thing work. And look, one of the things that I've noticed um, in my 20 years of experience um, doing online marketing and web development is that there's a lot of experts out there and most experts really dial into just one piece. So you might have a, a social media expert in particular or even a Facebook expert in particular or just a Facebook ads guy in particular and he knows that stuff really well but he doesn't necessarily know the whole and how the whole thing affects everything else, all right? So the main thing that I wanna to do today is I wanna make sure you see a kind of a broad picture of what this whole thing's actually about, all right? Because that's what I do. Um, basically what I do is I help small business, business owners and entrepreneurs just like you um, be more efficient mentally as well as in their business by um, increasing and adding uh, marketing automation and business systems um, to their business. So let's talk a little bit about that, okay? Now, most likely, You've already got a website, all right? We just don't know how well it's working. And we all know that the websites don't work very well unless we get traffic to those websites. So over here, we're gonna write big word traffic, all right? Most of my clients are really concerned about getting more traffic, and I think that's great. I totally understand why, all right? How do we do that? I'm not gonna go list all the different ways we do it, but largely there's a couple, right? There's something called SEO, which you've probably heard of. It stands for search engine optimization, all right? A um, couple different ways you can do that. It can be in-page, it can be paid citations, it can be YouTube, social media, um, it can be a variety of different ways like that. But the big one, the really hot one right now is Facebook ads. Facebook ads, all right? And these are paid, always paid. So, here's what's way cool. Facebook, basically everybody's on Facebook. Not quite everybody, but, but most people, your market is on Facebook, promise. Um, so what that means is, is that Facebook knows exactly who you're looking for. And if you know exactly who you're looking for and you go find, um, either learn how to do Facebook targeting yourself or go find an agency that knows how to do Facebook targeting extremely well, um, you can basically get you can buy as many customers as you want. You can get as many leads and as much traffic as you want. What I'm trying to say is, is that traffic is now a commodity, all right? So back in the day, we used to worry about trying to figure out how to get traffic to our website, right? We don't have to anymore. Now, it's a commodity. All right, so with enough money or enough time, we can do we can we can trade it for time we can get people to our website so that's great and most of my clients are really excited when we get people to their website and that's lovely my question to to them and to you then is this and this is where I think that the conversation needs to start shifting um, is what happens once you actually get somebody your website and that's really what I want to talk about today all right so typically what you see is Hopefully, you've got an opt-in of some sort on your website. Now, what's an opt-in? Opt-in is when you've got two boxes on the website in some way that says name and email. Something like that, all right? And if it's uh, kind of an old school website that you've got, it might even say, um, Subscribe to our newsletter here. So, 
that's your opt-in, that's your call to action, all right? And what I find is that it's very common that people are hoping that people, that visitors to their website will jump into a newsletter. Now, the problem with this is that, I don't know about you, but I have basically no interest in being on anybody's newsletter, all right? And what we find is that these types of offers really don't work very well. They don't convert very well. They don't convert at a very high percentage. So what do we mean by convert? Well, a conversion rate is the number of people that came to this website divided by the number of people that actually did whatever you wanted them to do on the website. So if what you wanted them to do was jump in, if it was subscribe to this, then it would, let's say that we had 100 people that came to this website, this webpage, and 50 of them actually converted, right? Then you've got a 50% conversion rate, okay? So conversion rates, when you're just asking for to, to have somebody subscribe to your newsletter, are very, very low, typically, all right? So instead, what we suggest that you do is something a little different, all right? Instead of doing this subscribe to our newsletter, I'm gonna erase this too. You wanna make an offer. You wanna make an offer of value. So um, whatever your business is, um, you might uh, put together um, you know, a video series of, of some of your best free tips um, that can really help somebody out and give it away to them for free. Um, or, you know, maybe it's a free PDF. Um, anything, anything of value that somebody is really is coming there to find out, um, that's really what you want to, what you'd like to do. You know, um, one of my other businesses is All Star Cheer Sites, and we have uh, a product in All Star Cheer Sites for All Star Cheerleading and Gymnastics. That's all about um, automated trials. And so what we do there effectively as a lead magnet is we offer, um, offer the times of the classes that are available um, in exchange for a name and an email. And that works great, all right? So, so that's something that you wanna do. So basically there's this value exchange, all right? And some value exchange is gonna work much better than other value exchange, okay? So those value exchanges are called lead magnets. lead magnets, all right? And that's one type of email. So in other words, when somebody gives you their name and email in exchange for one type of a lead magnet, you go ahead and you fulfill for that, all right? You know, you're asking for the times for, um, for the introductory gymnastics classes, by all means, here's the times, thank you very much. Or you're asking for a video series, uh, great, no problem, I'm gonna email it to you right now, that's great, okay? That's one type of email series or sequence or communication sequence that you would have based off of this. But there are three more that are really important, all right? There is indoctrination, okay? There is um, general delivery, and you can also think of this as rapport building. Okay, that's a, that's a third uh, type of email, all right? And then the fourth is an offer or a product, okay? So basically these are the three, or these, these are the four different types of emails that one might get once they opt into a website. And it has everything to do with what, what type of funnel, what type of campaign we're running off of this opt-in, all right? And, there are tons of different types of campaigns. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos about different types of campaigns that are out there and uh, give you some ideas about, about what you can do in your business specifically, but this fundamental stuff is extremely important. So we've talked a little bit about lead magnets. In terms of indoctrination, all indoctrination is, is this. Um, if I am selling um, hats, or let's say that I'm selling markers, um, this, these are great markers, right? But marketers are, uh, markers are a commodity. So indoctrination is, is why do you as a consumer care about me, 
all right? It's me telling my story to help you care about me more so you'll actually want to buy markers from me and not the guy down the street. That's basically what indoctrination is. It's the know, like, and trust factor, all right? So in other words, if you know somebody, if you like them, and if you trust them, you are much more likely to purchase something from them. So there's the indoctrination, all right? Then there's general delivery and rapport building. And this is basically that um, normal sending out to a list. It's just continually uh, providing value, um, a lot of value, not necessarily making a sales offer, but providing value in the topic um, that somebody subscribed to your, to your list for. Um, and that's extremely important. And then there's an offer. An offer email is something that, um, you know, it's, it's just that. I've got something that, you know, I know that you're really interested in these markers, right? So um, maybe, you know, since I know that you're interested in markers, you might be interested in the, this eraser as well, all right? So this is, that's when we would do an offer or a product. Folks, um, for the most part, you're always going to be sending general delivery report building emails. There's a ratio, depending on what, who you're talking to, what expert you're talking to, the ratio between general delivery and reporting, report building emails to an offer or product should be anywhere between 9 to 1 or 12 to 1, all right? Honestly, I've seen it anyway. The main thing is, is this. Don't bug people. Don't try to shake them down for money all the time. What you're trying to do is make sure that they trust you and like you. So you really want to be sending out a lot more rapport building emails than you want to be sending out emails where you're trying to monetize something. So that, folks, is what marketing automation is all about. Because in marketing automation, we take a funnel, a certain type of campaign, and we put it together with either a lead magnet or an indoctrination or general rapport building, uh, general delivery and report building or an offer and we put it together in a, in a certain preset manner and then put it out to the world all right and depending on what the what the funnel is maybe it's an online summit and what the goal of the online summit is is to develop um, a lot of uh, recognition for your brand all right there's a certain way that we might run that or if the campaign is just here's a video series and that's it and by the way would you like to join my mailing list that's a that's a very different type of, of offer that's a very different type of sequence that we put together for somebody it's um to to move forward all right so that's basically what this is if you're interested in learning more about um marketing automation funnels different types of things please go ahead um, subscribe to my YouTube channel right below, um, ask any comments you want, and consider going out and buying um, my book, Beyond the Marketing Funnel. Um, talks in depth about different types of lead magnets, indoctrination, product marketing funnels. Um, it talks about uh, conveyor belt marketing, which is an incredibly um, lucrative way to do this whole thing. So go check this out, or check out my website at mickoletic.com, and you can get a couple free chapters there. So. Folks, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Be well.